Notice here that I'm just using three rows and I'm using one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So that means that I have 18 here plus these two, 20 plus this other 20. I am using just 40 keys. This is space and this one is also space here on the left hand side. You may be wondering why I am doing this and um, the reason is because I want to try a different keyboard actually. I just want to give it a try which is the one that is shown here on the screen. This is the Korn. I don't know how the name is pronounced. Corny, whatever it is. Corn, I think it sounds like corn. So notice that this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 18, 21 here, plus 21 on the other side. It has 42 in total, right? But why am I using 40 only? Because I could be using three uh, thumb keys on my keyboard, right? Instead of just using these two on each side, I could be using these as well, right? This other one, so that I have 42 keys. Here is my MacBook keyboard, and I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just using 40 keys. So I'm just using the ones that are shown here, all of these, all the way up to here, this one, and this one. And I'm using the thumb key, well, the backspace, which I press my, with my thumb, this left command and this right command. I'm not using the options here, control, function, the arrows. I'm not using the numbers. I'm not using the F keys. And I'm doing all of this with um, a tool called Canada, which I have released a few videos um, a few days ago. I'm going to keep releasing some. I'm going to leave them in the video description. So this keyboard is the reason why I'm just using 40 keys because these two are really difficult to reach with your thumbs. I'm not sure why these are designed this way. This 100% sucks. They should be way smaller or I don't know. They should split it in two maybe. The space key, make it smaller. Move these to the sides here to the center so that you can reach them with your thumbs, right? But that's not possible. You can reach these two commands with your thumbs, not easily, but you can do it. These option keys, you cannot get them with your thumbs. So I'm just using the backspace and the two commands, right? So if I switch to my keyboard here, you're gonna notice that I'm using backspace here, backspace here, right? So I can press the backspace with either of the thumbs the same way that I can do it in the MacBook keyboard. And I have here this to um, erase and this one, which is return. I also configure the MacBook keyboard the exact same way, right? So this is going to be enter and this is going to be erase basically. What are my plans with the glove 80? Am I going to leave it behind? No, I don't think so. It's a wonderful keyboard. I just released a video today, some new switches that I purchased, which are the cherry blossoms. Man, I love these switches. The ones that I had before, I didn't like them too much, but these, man, it feels so comfortable, feels so great. I'm going to review it still for, I don't know, a couple weeks before I let you know my final verdict on these cherry blossom switches. I'm going to compare three switches, which are the plum blossoms, cherry blossoms, and the red pros. I have tried the three of those in the past in the glove 80, and I'll let you know which one I like more and why. And why do I want to try a corn keyboard? I don't know. I just want to try something smaller. The glove 80 is not that portable. So if you want to carry it around and uh, take it with you when you travel, you can, but you have to take the case with you and it's quite difficult to transport it. I have used it without the palm rests in the past and um, it worked fine, but I had some trouble with my fingers. Going to see how that goes in the next few days. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just want to give this keyboard a try. The corn looks promising, looks small, looks comfortable, depending on the switches that you use. So if there's someone out there that builds these keyboards and sell them 
and would like to send a review unit, just let me know. I'll be more than glad to test this keyboard out and compare it with the Glove 80. So that's just something that I quickly wanted to share with you on this video. My journey with the Glove 80 so far it has been great. I have no complaints about the keyboard. It is wonderful. I just need to do some other reviews, some fresher reviews after using it one year, what my thoughts are. I hope that explains the reason why my Glove 80, instead of being a Glove 80 right now, is a Glove 40 or a Corn 40 or a Glove 40. I don't know what it is. If you want to watch my videos about Canada, go and watch the video that is going to show up right here. And if you want to watch the video about the Cherry Blossom switches that I released today, this one is shown right here.